Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am doing my MAC must-haves. Yeah, if you don't know by now, I'm obsessed with MAC and all things MAC. It's sad, but I'm obsessed with MAC. And I even... Put that down for later. But yeah, so today I'm going to be go, going over all the things that I've bought from MAC. It's going to be like a little bit of a mini review. And I'm going to be telling you all all the things that I just have to have. So I think I'm going to start with... Let's start with eyes. So first I have my MAC paint pot in groundwork. And I love this thing so much. This is like a YouTube OG holy grail product. <laughs> A lot of people have the paint pots in Painterly. I know Brianna has it in Camel Stone, but I just have it in Groundwork because I just think it's a really, really pretty color. And I think at MAC, this is $20 or $21. It's either or it's either $20 or $21. But I'm telling you, this is a must have. And what this does, it helps your um, eyeshadow stay on longer. And it also just helps the overall look and feel. Like if you have a color that's not as vibrant or you have a color that you feel as though may be prone to creasing, what you can do is use this color as a base and it'll just help your eyeshadow stay on 10 times longer, ladies. And we know when we have those nights out with our girls or we just want to go out, we need our eyeshadow to stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yes, this is the paint pot and groundwork. Just throw it on. Just throw it over there. Okay, eyeshadows. Now, I am an eyeshadow fanatic. So, I actually have two palettes. Not one, but two eyeshadow palettes. So, I'm going to start with my quad. And you would have saw this in our first video me and Brie ever did ever with our top, like, I think it was our top 10 beauty must-haves. Yes, I mentioned this palette. This is my favorite palette. I think it's a good idea to have a quad from MAC as well as the 15 pan. Um, because, number one, this is a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot easier to travel with so you don't have to worry about carrying this big old thing if you want just something on the go you want to touch up your eyeshadow but if you use your paint pot you won't have to touch up your eyeshadow <laughs> but yes if you want to touch up your eyeshadow and i just have four colors in this one and let's start with this one this one is amber lights this one is soft brown this one is brown script which is a youtube og and this one is Saddle. Now, my favorite, favorite, favorite transitioning color is definitely brown script. And I love using um, soft brown on the lid. And then I put this on, like, my outer V. This gives me a nice, soft look. And, ladies, it's so pretty. And if I want to feel extra fancy, I'll use Amber Lights on my lips. And Amber Lights is also a YouTube OG. I'm not going to do swatches, but if you want to see a separate video with me just swatching all of my MAC eyeshadows, just comment down below. Okay, now let's get into my MAC 15 pan. Okay, let me tell you how this works. Um, I forgot the pan, this holder that they all come in is $8 only for the four eyeshadow holders. And each individual eyeshadow is $10 a piece. It's like a basically you build your own eyeshadow palette. So I just picked all the colors that are in this one. And so for this one, um, the actual case holder is $8. And then the little insert that holds all your eyeshadows is $2. And, of course, it's the same price for the individual eyeshadows, $10. So, I'm not going to go through all my eyeshadows, even though it might not look like a lot. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I just want to show you. Um, MAC's eyeshadows are extremely, extremely pigmented. So, like, trust me, they're not going nowhere, and they're, you're going to see them on your eyes. So, I love MAC's eyeshadows. So, I have about one, two, three, nine eyeshadows. I'm going to fill it up with six more. And I'm going to go over them. I don't remember what color this is. If I remember, I can put it in the description box. This is Sketch. This is Woodwinked. This is Coppering. This is Cranberry. And I have Malt, which is very, very pretty on the eyes. The camera is making it look white, but I promise you it's not white. And then right here, I have Handwritten. And then I have um, Hoax, Ho, Hoax. Don't mind me. And then I have um, <laughs> Embark. So, yes, yeah, those are the nine I have. Um, I have a MAC in my phone. I have, like, a MAC little wish list of all the other eyeshadows that I want to fill this bad boy up with. And, yes, trust me, MAC eyeshadows are a must-have, ladies. Get you some. <laughs> 
Okay, so next I'm going to move on to my MAC must have with the blushes. Now, I am new on the blush train. And I feel like I've been so lost because there are so many good blushes. And just honestly for the... I'm just now like getting into the makeup, makeup, makeup aspect of life. But for the longest time, I did not, you know, wear blush or think that it was important. But blush adds like a whole new dimension to your face. It can warm you up. It can make you look fun and creative, ladies. And we all like looking like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's get into my MAC blushes. This works the same way as the eyeshadow pens does. So the actual holder is $8 and then the actual inserts are $2. Now for the blushes, you could get six in here. And these are perfect colors, ladies. This this is really, really getting washed out. But this is called Breath of Plum and it is gorgeous. The individual blushes are $17, I believe. But this color right here is Breath of Plum. I have Format and I have Raisin. So these are really, really pretty. And the blushes look really, really nice on the face. I keep forgetting, here's the problem with me and blush, I forget to put it on, which is so bad. I don't know why I do that, but I forget to put the blush on, like today. <laughs> yeah, like today, I forgot to put my blush on, but I'm telling you, when I do, it adds a whole new dimension to my face, and I love it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to move on to is foundation. So the foundation I'm using currently is Max Match Master, um, and I'm in the color number eight. So yes, I love this. is my winter foundation for the fall and winter. I use this for the spring and summer, especially the late summer. I get really, really tan, so my skin complexion changes completely. And my original color in Mac is NC50. I'm an NC50 in Mac. So the 8 works perfect for me for spring and summer. I usually wear the MAC Studio Sculpt, which I forgot to grab for you guys. But yes, it's in like the long little tube, and I'm in an NC50. And that's my color for fall and winter. But yeah, the Match Master is really good. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. But when I was in MAC one day, the lady was like, do you want to try the Match Master? Because I have extremely dry skin. So at first, I was going to try the... um lighting has changed now I gotta hurry up for this yeah but yes she asked me if I wanted to try the match mask I was like yeah sure I haven't really heard people talk about it because I originally wanted to try the pro long wear foundation but I she tried this on me and it looked really 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 nice it was between this and the step it was either 7.5 hour I was going to get or 8 and the 8 looked a lot better on me so yes I love it if anybody I know there is the studio fix foundation and yes Either the Studio Fix or the Pro Longwear Foundation. I preferred the Match Master because it worked well with my skin. And the Studio Sculpt is <laughs> the Studio Sculpt is actually really well. So I like either or for Mac. And I actually skipped the the face part when you always want to prime your face before you put on any foundation, ladies. Prime, 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 prime. And so the the primer that I love to use, that's from MAC. Oh, and the Match Master is $32, I believe. So the primer that I love to use from MAC is the MAC Prep and Prime Prime Primer. And this is the Natural Radiance Base. And I have it in the color yellow. I've noticed my camera's washing out all the colors. So yes, I have this color in yellow and I love this thing love this thing it gives you a matte finish without over drying your face because like i said i do have dry skin so it just like smooths your face i highly 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 recommend this primer it is awesome ladies so if you go to the max next time you go to the max store or the mac counter ask about this and you will see how like it just it's silk like you will love this primer i never tried none of the Too Faced or even the smashbox box primers which i do want to do in the future but I just loved, loved this thing. Like, I don't think, I don't know if I would ever go back to anything else. Because I have used a lot of drugstore primers. I've used the Maybelline Professionals. And that, honestly, to me, that works okay. I can do an in-depth review if you want to. But that just works okay. But I just think it's good to have a primer primer. And this is awesome. And it also clears out some of the pores that you may have. Okay, next I have concealer. This is a YouTube OG OG, OG. And this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And again, I, in the fall and winter, I'm in the color. Well, actually, I'm looking for my color right now. I've gone through NC45, and that was extremely too light for me. 
And right now I'm trying the NW45, so I'm gonna work that out and see what works best for me. Right now I'm just wearing concealer, no foundation. I just have an eyeshadow and stuff. So the, I use the today I use the concealer, the LA Girl Concealer in Chestnut. But I really, really, really want to find my perfect color in this color, and it's been so hard. So I really, really hope the NW45 is perfect for me. So I was trying that, but the overall formulation and texture bomb ladies bomb you need this in your life you probably have heard youtube guru after guru after guru like mention this concealer because it is the business ladies like this concealer is everything mm -mm. <laughs> okay so the next thing i have is max powder and i'm in the color dark and this is the mineralized skin finish i still have not hit pan and i use this thing a lot Every time I wear makeup, you best believe this is going over top. It just gives your face a flawless, like, like it just evens everything out. Like, if you have maybe concealer that's too dark or too light, you put this over it, you won't be able to tell. And I love this thing so, so, so much. This will be a always, all the time use for me personally. I just love it so much. And one thing I do want to try is the NARS Translucent light glow i don't know what it's called but it's the nars translucent powder i heard glam twins talk about it kelsey and kendra and they said that they had heard from another guru that was really really good so i do want to try it eventually so i just messed up my hair oh well i do want to try it eventually but yeah i love this this does the job and this is a believe i believe 32 dollars from mac and i'm sorry i forget to name the prices the concealer was 21 dollars no 20 dollars i believe and i think that's the last thing i forgot the name but yeah yes lipsticks okay i have i have too many lipsticks for mac if you want let me know in the description i'll probably do it anyway i can do my lipstick collection my mac lipstick collection but i just pulled out three lipsticks from mac three lipsticks from mac and these are all my favorite fall lipsticks right now i have on my lip sin you can see i'm wearing sin right now but another favorite of mine is smoked purple this is what smoked purple looks like that's a bad swatch but yes that's smoked purple and i also have viva glam three which i think is really pretty and these are both um this one is a matte. Viva Glam 3 is a matte. Sin is a matte. And Smoke Purple is also a matte. I love matte lipsticks. Once you go matte, honey, it's so hard for you to go back. <laughs> so, yes, these are all matte lipsticks. And I love my matte lipsticks. Like, it's so hard for me to try other lipsticks. I'm like, if it's not matte, <laughs> shoe flag. <laughs> but I do. I love, love, love these lipsticks. MAC lipsticks are $16. And I think these are just really pretty overall lipsticks. I know Smoke Purple and Sin are best in the fall and winter, but Viva Glam 3 is like a color that you can wear all the time, ladies. So, yeah, that's the end of my video. Um, that's all my MAC must-haves. I highly, highly, highly recommend everything that I mentioned in these videos. With MAC, you are going to get quality on top of quality. I just love everything MAC. MAC gives you the hippie edge and classiness all wrapped into one. The... It's, it's an OG company. I love it so, so, so much. But yes, guys, thank you for watching. Um, Up next will be our October favorites. Me and Brie will be doing one. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I just did that wrong. Like and subscribe to our channel. And again, thank you. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bye, guys.